the national chairperson, the TG, uh, and members of the media. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, we have called this press conference uh, as the officials of the EFF now so that uh, we get an opportunity to uh, publicly read out the letter which I sent yesterday to the President and Commander-in-Chief in terms of uh, the politics of South Africa. I'm going to read the, the letter word per word so that there are no speculations in terms of the basis upon which we are communicating this particular decision. So the letter says, greetings, uh, Comrade President. The chairperson of Ward 44, Johannesburg, has informed me that my membership of the EFF has lapsed. And I said, please be informed that I will not renew my membership of the EFF in Ward 44, which is one of the best performing wards in Johannesburg region. I also request to resign my position as member of parliament and all positions in the EFF. I will only do so after receiving a go ahead from the organization because it is the EFF that deployed me to parliament. I cherish and appreciate the work that we collectively did in the EFF and building a formidable organization. I believe the aspirations and vision contained in the organizational redesign document of the EFF can still be achieved. That the visions that are contained in the organizational redesign document of the EFF can still be achieved and that I believe so. That my non-renewal of EFF membership is not a vote of no confidence in the organization, but a revolutionary act that will allow progressive forces to unite and work towards the agenda for progressive and revolutionary change. I have never in my service of the organization acted outside its democratic and revolutionary decisions, discipline and practice. I have served with humility and discipline. I will never abandon the cause for economic emancipation and true freedom in our lifetime. I will never compromise my commitment to true emancipation, and I will never abandon my commitment to the Marxist-Leninist ideological lenses and view and guide to action in my understanding of society. I will not do and say anything that will compromise the integrity of the organization that we have collectively founded. My sincere plea is that in its reflection of the decision that I have taken, the organization should also avoid mischaracterization of an otherwise revolutionary and disciplined decision to not renew membership of the EFF and the request that I must be released from all areas that I'm deployed on behalf of the EFF. And then say that we have over the years played an important role in shaping the politics of South Africa and the continent, the African continent. We have all played our parts progressively and I have no doubt that we will continue to do so in our respective different responsibilities. I firmly believe that political decisions should never be personalized and treated as betrayal of the cause and of individuals. I say, Comrade President, you are my brother and comrade, and will always cherish the contributions we made in our lives uh, during the formation of the EFF, even prior to that. I wish the economic freedom fighters full prosperity and success, and wish that all the commissars and ground forces and public representatives and members of the EFF Students Command will accept this very difficult decision that I have taken. The struggle and war for economic freedom will never be compromised by any individual decision. 
it has been ingrained in the hearts and minds of many people in South Africa and the entire African continent. Uh, revolutionary regards and God bless and the letter is signed off. And just to give clarity so that there is no uh, speculation, I've decided not to renew the membership of the EFF because I will join and participate in Umkonto as a party. I am not going to speak here in Winnemar Mandela House as to what is the basis of that because that will be tantamount to campaigning already for Umkonto as a party. So I'm going to be actively involved in Umkonto as a party uh, and shape uh, its direction and the politics that are obtaining today in South Africa. So that is to end the uncertainty or speculations that have been obtaining in terms of what is going to happen. There is no specific position that have been assigned to me. There is no commitment or any promise of deployment to parliament or to anything. It's a decision that I have taken and I think and believe that it will add meaningful value to the progressive and revolutionary politics that must be pursued by all the progressive forces in South Africa. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, DP.